Which is better, the Strat or the Tele? Let's find out. If you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest videos. And while you're down there, don't forget to give us a thumbs up too. Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here. Today, we're gonna to try and answer the age old question, which is better, the Strat or the Tele? We're gonna do a shootout to help you decide which one you need in your life, or maybe you just need both. To get to the bottom of it, we've broken this down into four different rounds. Let's get started. The reason we put looks at round one is because whenever you see a guitar you love, one of your idols is playing it, it is by far the biggest factor that makes you wanna go out and check that guitar out. So let's start with the Strat. You've got a double cutaway, contoured body, and you've got that iconic Fender headstock, the one we all think of when we think of the Fender. Moving on to the Tele, you've got a single cutaway, slab body, so no contours here, and a much slimmer headstock. The way I would split these two is by saying that the Strat is a kind of modern, a slightly more refined version, while the Tele is a stripped back and simplistic version. So, you've already decided you love the way a guitar looks, you've seen your idol playing it, and now it's time to get down to a guitar shop and try one out. Before you get plugged in, there's probably a chance you're gonna have a little bit of a feel of the guitar, maybe play it acoustically, before you get to hear the sounds. So, let's have a look at the differences between the guitars. Now, when you're looking at Fender necks, if you're looking at like-for-like -like models, so maybe a Strat or Tele from the same year, the necks are gonna be very close. So we're gonna kind of ignore the left hand a little bit and focus more on what's going on in the body area. Let's start with the Tele. So the first thing you'll notice is there's a lot of room between the pickups. So if you like finger picking a lot or you like digging in hard with a pick around where maybe the strap metal pickup would be, this might be quite suited to you. Also, having the controls a little bit further away than on the strap can be quite useful, especially if you don't really tweak them that much. They're a bit further away, you're less likely to knock them and you know, mess up your settings. Also, having the hardtail is very useful. If you like to dig in a lot with your palm, it's gonna, you know, there's no tremolo, so it's not gonna bend the strings out of tune. Now, the first thing, when you're looking at the strap, when you pick it up, put it against your body, you're gonna notice how well it hugs into you. Having that belly cut on the back and having the arm contour on the front make it very comfortable to sit with. Now, the control layout. On the strap, it's a little bit closer. That's a kind of a good and a bad thing, really. So, if you're someone that digs in a lot and you kind of, you know, you go right past the strings, you may knock the pickup selector or adjust the volume. But what it does mean, if you're someone that likes to tweak your sound as you're playing quite a lot, it's very easy just to reach out and grab those controls. Now, where I mentioned about having the tremolo on the Strat, obviously this is a really useful feature to have a tremolo, but if you don't use the tremolo and you do dig in quite a lot, you may notice, again with palm muting, that you might just bend the strings slightly sharp. So, you've already established you love the way the guitar looks and you love the way that it feels, but how does it sound? A lot of players still feel that the Strat and the Tele sound the same, but they definitely don't. So we've put together three iconic sounds from each of them, so you can decide.
by this point in the video, you're probably already leaning towards or have already decided which you prefer, a Strat or a Tele. This round gives you a chance to have a look at a few extra features you might not have thought of. The Tele is really easy to restring. Because you haven't got a tremolo to worry about, fitting the strings into the back of the body and getting them up to pitch is really easy. However, the Strat does have much more fine intonation adjustment on there with the six different saddles to the Tele's three. That being said, the Strat does have a tremolo, which is a great effect, but it does mean that the Tele does tend to stay in tune a little bit better. And one extra thing for the modders out there or people who like a different sound, the Tele tends to lean itself towards having a humbucker in the neck, which is great if you want to play big open rock chords, while the Strat is ideal for having a humbucker in the bridge position for some of those high again and lead sounds. So in conclusion then, what we've learned from this video is that while the Tele and the Strat do have a lot of similarities, they also have a lot of differences as well, and some things that are unique to each model. What I would recommend to anyone watching this is get down to your local guitar shop and try them both out. All the gear used in today's video will be linked in the description below, so get down there if you want to find out any more about any of the gear in a bit more depth. We really enjoyed making this video and we hope you enjoyed watching it. We'll be bringing out new videos every Friday at 4pm, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest content. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up too.